And welcome back. So, Star Chan asked the question. Well, she didn't ask the question. Oh, I'm going to assume it's she. They didn't. Uh, they asked for more Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon fights, and I can definitely do that. That being said, uh, that being said, Star Chan, um, if you could be just a little bit more – like if there's an, an, like a specific Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon character – you want me a uh, fight you want me to do like I did Dexter versus um, Jimmy Neutron or this particular one here. Uh, please put that in the comments below. I I'm, I'm more than willing to do Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon ones. Absolutely. It gives me more, it gives me more um, options to do on the channel, all that um, for who wins. But yeah, just um, that's a little vague. So if you could just be a little bit more specific, that'd be great. Uh, but that doesn't mean I can't think up ones. It's just it helps if you're a bit more specific. That's all. Uh, but still, I'm, I'm, I can still think them up if I have to. In like instance, we got the Powerpuff Girls versus Danny Phantom. Um, and you know what? Look, I I know what some people are thinking. Like, really? But when you think about it, they do kind of fit the same MO. They both fight crime. They both can fly. They both got super abilities. So, yeah, why not? So uh, let's assume, and if we really need to go over their abilities again, let's uh, let's go over their abilities again. I've done Danny Phantom, I think, like three to four times on this <laughs> this channel now. Uh, it's him, I know Superman's showing up like three times, uh, who all, I know I've done like a couple individuals a couple times, uh, Batman's I think showing up like three times or so, so yeah, I've, I've done him a couple times, so I pretty much know all of his abilities by heart at this point. Danny Phantom is Danny Fenton, he got, uh, caught in an experiment by his dad, and now he's half ghost, which apparently ghosts aren't just dead people, they are living, breathing, well, <laughs> They are creatures, an actual actual creature that can actually reproduce. Figure that out. Um, I am Box Lunch, daughter of the Lunch Lady in the Box Ghost. Ew. <laughs> uh, anyway, so if you were if you remember uh, Danny Phantom, oh god, was it was the first movie they did. Uh, I think it was the first movie they did. It wasn't uh, Ego Trip. No, that wasn't the first movie they did. It was um. Ego Trip was the first movie. Oh no, it was Rainstorm was the first movie. Then I think it was Ego Trip. Then it was the one with his evil future self. And then it was the last one, Phantom Planet. I can't remember the other one. I liked Danny Phantom a lot, actually. I enjoyed that series. And their movies were fun, too. So I like that. There's rumors that we might, might get a new version of it down the road where they're older. But that's just rumors. Anywho, Danny, when he, he's like a, I think he's like a 15 or... I think by the end of the series he was a 16-year-old kid. So we'll go 16. Uh, so he's a 16-year-old kid. He's got the build pretty much of a uh, scrawny 16-year-old. But when he goes into his ghost form, or going ghost, um, or uh, I'm going ghost, or whatever his voice was, um, uh, <laughs> um, he he gains physical abilities, things along those lines, including, but not exclusive to, the ability to fly, the ability to turn intangible, the ability to turn invisible, all three of those put together. The ability to fire ecto energy from his hands, fingers, eyes, his ass, I think he did at one point. Um, the ability to create a shield. The ability to possess people. The ability to do a sonic whale. The ability of cryokinesis, or production of ice. Uh, the ability to duplicate himself. Granted, this uh, even later in the series when he was able to do it, it's still taxing on his body. <clears throat> He's got enhanced speed. He can move at least 112 miles an hour minimum, but we, we're pretty much assuming he can move faster than that. Um, he's strong enough to lift, I think, around 10, uh, like uh, 10,000 pounds. So about five tons was right around the area he could lift, which is still pretty impressive. Uh, durable enough to take a lot of hits, but he's still, you know, take, he's still a kid. He, he's got his limitations. Am I missing anything on his powers? I don't think I am. I could be, though. So, you know, again, possession, all that. But again, someone with a strong enough will can uh, override him. So that doesn't always work. Anyone who could theoretically go intangible could also fight him in an intangibility form. Anyone who um, can see heat can find him, theoretically speaking. And, yeah, he's been beat plenty of times, too. The Powerpuff Girls, Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup, all have pretty much the same power, but though they each have their own unique abilities, I believe. Um, if now that I think about it, though, um, <laughs> Blossom, I think, is the one who actually had a unique ability that was actual power, so I might have to take that back. Um, you know what? Double-checking real quick. I mean, I know super, they can fly. 
uh, like to fly at high speeds, super strong, like lit, capable of lifting things like buildings. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff. There we go. Powerpuff. Puff, 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 puff. Power puff. Anyway. So blossom bubbles and buttercup. Okay. Commander leader, joy and laughter, toughest fighter. Say the day. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I need, I need to stop doing that. I was like, you're a grown man. What the hell are you doing? I'm seeing power puff girls. That's what the fuck I'm doing. Uh Anyway, um, alter ego, what? Uh, oh, that was some stupid thing she did. Okay, a uh, special ability is, uh, um, besides her standard super strength, she has ice breath, um, surprised by her new pound of blah, 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 becomes jealous of her sisters, uh, uh their sister, and then blah, 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 blah meteor, her ice breath, the last resort against Prince, blah, blah. Uh, she also fires, uh, many of her unique abilities also include pink lightning bolts or microscopic vision and pink laser eye vision, advanced intelligence, knowledge, enhanced intuition, intuitive adaptability, uh, apt planning skills, expert leadership, fire breath, surprisingly. Um, all the power of I've shown in play weakness to fly paper for some reason. Okay. Power of can endure extreme temperatures such as lava. They're still vulnerable to exposure to, uh, to extreme exposure of sunlight, which affects them similarly to ordinary people, they can handle much greater exposure than the regular humans, though. Blossom is afraid of not being there enough for everyone, not showing good enough leadership qualities, feeling classic. Sarah just makes her self-confidence quite vulnerable at times. Now, if Danny could probably exploit that, maybe you could get a victory on her, but frankly, I, I don't see Danny being smart enough to... Uh, unless they're somehow bickering with each other, which is possible. Uh, let's see, okay. Bubbles... The joy in laughter. Screw you. I'm enjoying myself with that. Uh, whoa, that's not what I'm looking for. Where's where are my bubbles? Where are bubbles? Come on, bubbles. There we go, bubbles. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so bubbles, in terms of her special bubble, they, they all have flight, endurance, and super strengths. Uh, alter ego, what? Okay, whatever. Any special abilities? She can speak. Uh, she can scream loud enough to shatter glass. She's got a sonic scream ability, similar to Danny's whale. Um, and she also has the ability to speak Spanish. Good for hell. Can smell the smell. Bubbles smelt the professor's chili's enhanced smell. Okay. Leash a fury of red lightning all around her, causing a lot of havoc. The ability is never seen again. Bubbles may not be aware of full capabilities using this in the state. Huge state of mind. Uh, other signature abilities include vaporization, whatever, electric ball, light, electric blue blaster, uh, she's flight, uh, electric forces, laser beams, super, basically standard stuff that all the, um, Powerpuff Girls have. Um, and then of course we have Buttercup, who is the toughest fighter, Powerpuff say the day, bum, 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 bum. gonna repeat this song all I want. This is my damn channel. I'll do what I want. Power puff. <laughs> oh man, I I am just pathetic right now. Um, now of all of them, uh, uh, Buttercup's the one who's most susceptible to um, um, fits of rage and alter egos and things. Uh, full alter egos, fits of rage, if you will. Uh, she's the e she's the one easiest to rile up. Buttercup doesn't seem to have any special superpowers different, uh, different for her sister. She's physically the strongest of the three girls, however. Uh, she also revealed that she can fly the fastest out of all the three sisters. Her special ability is shown to be able to curl her tongue, which is cool. O okay. Uh, uh, so, uh, but she, yeah, fireball, rubs her hand together, makes a fireball, thunderclap, green energy orb, green laser beans, black hurricane, whatever the hell that is, ball blast, and tornado generation. Okay, then. So... More or less, they are, they're pretty tough. Powerful Girls can handle a lot, but they're also not invincible. They've been, they've been taken out a couple times. Like, when they, when the, uh, Beat Alls was formed, uh, they were, <laughs> uh, him, Mojo Jojo, uh, Fuzzy Lumpkins, <laughs> and Fuzzy Lumpkins provided the rock. So, yeah, let's say there's a mix-up, and obviously, in long-term, they would be working together, but for the sake of this, they have to fight. 
So, you know, Danny's like, whoa, wait, guys. It's like, are you little girls? Like, I don't really want to fight you guys or anything. He's like, yeah, well, too bad. And then, yeah, you know, Bob, maybe Buttercup just knocks him. Boom, Danny goes fly. Boom, boom. It's like, oh. It's like, all right, you want, you want to, it's like, you want to play rough? Fine. And then he flies in, <laughs> smacks Buttercup around a bit, even though it's like, I was like, I don't, I don't feel bad about hitting girls when they hit first. And then, you know, the girls get in. He's, he's doing his best. Now, in terms of who's the better fighter between the three of them and him, I'm going to go with the girls. They, I mean, both, both of them overall, I mean, they both spend their entire time fight. That's where they honestly learn their fighting capabilities uh, is on basically through practice, not from actual training. Though I would imagine they all train a little bit. Um, and with Buttercup being the toughest fighter, she's going to give him the real tough time. Plus, physically speaking, Danny at best can lift around 10 tons, uh, 10, not 10 tons, but 10,000 pounds, two, five tons. He, I, the girls, I, I, the girls are stronger than him and more durable. That's just the way it is. But he's got, and he's got a couple different abilities that they don't have to some degree, but in the same, in the sense that 101, he actually has more overall abilities than I think they do, and more you like just diverse abilities. But if you factor him in as a whole, Bubbles has got him be uh, got a match for Sonic Scream. Uh, Blossom's got him be uh, well, no, I wouldn't say Blossom's got to beat him. Blossom can at least match him with Ice Breath. Uh, but he can do complete cryokinesis, which is superior to her Ice Breath. Um, he's got ecto beams, which matches there with their, uh, our laser beams, or eye beams. He can at least form shields. They can't do that. Anyway, so the fight continues. Danny knows he's on the losing end, but starting to be on the losing end, you know, Buttercup's about to deliver the final. He just goes into tangible, whoop, and then just blasts her in the back with maybe like a, with a ecto buzz. She goes fly. The other two come in. He then, he decides to just possess bubbles and just, whoa, it's like, what, where'd he go? It's like. Uh, right here, Ben, and just smacks him. And Bubbles, I don't think, has enough willpower. Bubbles is very sweet and kind, but let's be clear. If you're going to say which one of the three girls can be possessed the easiest, it's probably going to be Bubbles. So he just smacks in there using Bubbles' body, and he realizes, like, whoa, these girls are strong, and then just beats into Bubble. Uh, him and Blossom are going at it for a little bit. Buttercup comes back in. He's like, wait, what are you funny? Where'd he go? He's like, she, he possessed Bubbles! And then, you know... Uh, because he's got all his abilities still in there, he just blasts her with a cryo beam, freezes Blossom to like maybe a building at the moment. She's gonna, uh, she's gonna struggle to get up. Buttercup comes in, smacks right in. I just actually hit myself. Luckily, it wasn't anything hard. And just smacks in there. Just uh, Bubbles like, Bubba, uh, Bubbles like, ah! and then Bubbles, Bubbles is like, oh, Bubbles, I'm sorry, but he's like, ah, ah, okay, it's like, but that, it's okay. he makes me mad. And he's like, and then Sonic screams bubbles. Uh, I can't, I'm not terror strong, so I'm not going to be able to do bu uh, bubbles. Um, so, uh, so, you know, uh, Sonic's just like, whoa! It? And then he, it, all day, just, what? Sonic screams says, now who's the stronger on the sc Sonic stream, uh, stream, scream level? Oh, that's a tough one to call. We know bubbles can shatter glass, which, but we know Danny can do that too. We also know Danny's whale was strong enough to more or less break an entire ghost barrier. I wouldn't imagine Bossom's is necessarily uh, Bubbles is more m necessarily capable of doing that. But I think the reason that he was able to break it was because it like shorted out the um, shorted out the mechanism that was basically uh, forming it, creating it. So I uh, that's tough. I, I'm going to go there both on par with their whales. And he's going to create a big kind of like sonic like bubble. And then it's just going to burst the bitch. And, just, and they're going, whoa. It's a day. It's like, ugh. And, the, so, and now, uh, again, Buttercup, uh, Bubbles goes flying. Blossom finally gets out of there. So he, she fires her own eyes. He's like, just the way that came. And then, you know, he's like, whoa. And, but, but he's about to get out of the way. But Buttercup comes in and just whales it right on him. And then he gets frozen. like, watch. And he gets, poof, sl uh, you know, slim there than there on the ice cube or <laughs> in a giant block on the ground. They come in, it's like, huh, so he's finally defeated. And then you just see him phase out through the ground. It's like, poof. And then, but right then he goes, I think this is yours. And then poof, throws the ice block right in their face. Poof, oh, and then he just comes in, just, poof, ah, eat this, eat this, punks. Because remember, he fought Youngblood too. 
Uh, that that's a real note right there that he actually doesn't have qualms with really um beating up a kid if he has to and if they can put up a real fight and possibly even be stronger than him he doesn't have any issue with beating up a kid so he just suddenly just bla just blast them uh, the girls are now the girls are a little a little worse for wear a little bit uh, a bit but they're they're all, they're overall, just, they're overall still fine, but maybe they're huffing just a little bit here, just, and it's like, this guy's really tough, but Danny's also like, uh, 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 these girls are tough, it's like, oh boy, and then, you know, he just brings up a shield, they crash into the shield, they don't immediately break it, but they certainly crack it, he, Danny reforms a little bit, but he's like, whoa, these, uh, it's like, uh, and then he just does that whole omnidirectional blast, and then just, and then just completely cry, and then tries to cry for reason, but they, he can't get. They're about to like gang up on. It's like it's over now. We got him. We're gonna gang up on. He just this one just uh, divides into four, and this what boo do do, and then just grabs like wow, <laughs> and this like one, and then suddenly just freeze them down, and then just completely freeze them in a giant block of ice, like a huge block of ice. Uh, and I think, and I mean, when I say big, like. Like my thumb, the little bit of my thumb right here represents the girls. Danny's gonna go all out with these ice blocks and just like half the screen size, just, just a giant iceberg worth of ice blocks. And I think that I think they'll be kind of out for, down for not down truly for the count, but they'll be out of commission for long enough to I compare Danny to Victor, but barely. Uh, let, let me put that, and then Danny's just gonna be like, Ugh, and it just fades away. Now the re now you're gonna, I'm certain there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna say why does Danny Phantom when you I think you're so biased against Danny Phantom and, and it's true I give Danny a bit of an edge in some of the fights I put him in but it's because of the opponents I put him against uh, or they get put against because people ask for these honestly I besides the Stern Order ones I have not put my own personal like ones I've written down onto the Who one for going on years now <laughs> besides the monthly ones I do I don't I haven't done that. No, there's there's a few key cut reason or a few key reasons why I think Danny ekes out a bear. Like I'm going, like I'm gonna say, 55 to 45. It is that close in this fight. Uh, but there's a, there's a reason I'm giving Danny the slight victory in this case. A Danny has far more evasive abilities that he can avoid getting hit, particularly the intangibility. The girls have no, as far as I know, the girls have no legitimate way of handling anyone who could become intangible. They don't. He can also become invisible and avoid them for the longest time. He can possess them. Bo Blossom, I would argue, can probably resist the possession. Either Buttercup or Blossom, I don't think, or Blossom. Bubbles are, that's the problem with they all have, they're all bees. Um, um, but um, Blossom, yes, I think it can resist the possession. Um, and I think uh, Danny might be able to, Danny's, Danny's actually cl more clever than I think people give him credit for. I think he'd be able to figure out which one of them is at least susceptible to possession. Buttercup and Bubbles, I think, would be the more sub susceptible to possession. Uh, and if girls were actually duking out with each other, they would definitely um, wear each other out for a little bit. Uh, so yeah, Danny's got more evasive. He's got he's got more overall diversity than any of the individual girls. Um, because of that, you know, he and he, his overall, like, his ice abilities are far stronger than Blossom. Blossom just has an ice breath. Uh, whereas Danny's actually got cryokinesis. Uh, Blossom has a sonic whale, but he has a sonic whale. He's also got abilities they don't have. He can generate an energy shield. Again, he can go invisible, intangible. He can also, um, and again, another big one is he can duplicate himself. Uh, that's something the girls can't do, and he can actually make enough copies of himself to outmatch the girl. He can make four versions of himself, last I knew. Um, maybe that, maybe I read that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's four. When there's only three of them, which could give him a severe edge, particularly because his ability... Granted, it is draining on him, but if it's near the end of the fight and he's going all out to maybe just contain them with, with like I said, like a giant thing of ice to freeze him in for a while, then yeah, I think... Overall, and again, he's they've got energy abilities, but he's got energy abilities. They he they've got super strength. He's got super strength. Granted, I think they're more strong. They definitely are stronger than him. But I'm certain. But he's also got enough durability and evasion abilities to mm, avoid getting any serious damage done to him for the fight. Um. So yeah, I think um, I do think that yes, I Danny takes it. 
but it's barely. It's three on one, and I, and Danny's fought multiple opponents before too. I, it would definitely be it would definitely be hard. I think Danny again just barely takes that five, fifty-five to forty-five. If you think different, I'm not gonna argue. If you think different, I'm certain there's gonna be people disagree with me. Absolutely, but that's just my take on it. Let me know if you think different. If you do, that's cool. We all have opinions. It's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get on anyone's case for ha for thinking differently than me. I just hope you don't get on my case for thinking differently than you. Uh, if you disagree, that's cool. Just don't get on my case for something stupid like opinions on a fictitious fight between two fictitious characters. I was like, but this isn't the same thing. No, because you can have a fictitious fight like Death Battle used to always. Not Death Battle. Um, Ultimate Warrior or Deadliest Warrior always used to do with uh, two historical figures in a fictitious fight. Different scenario. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As those who wants to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll, we'll do a review of it at some point. Still, this day, I've only ever had one person request a review. Uh, and that was for uh, Double Dragon, which you can watch that review for mine. Spoilers. I kind of had fun. It was bad, but it was a fun bad. Um, uh, and uh, I use for who to win, Star Wars, Superhero Magic, What If. Anything I do on the channel, put in the comments below. Let me know I'll get to it at some point. I'm gonna hold off just for right now on magic, just because I I've got I'm working all this week, so no magic this week. I'll I'll probably save it for next week. Uh, and Maze Runner Death Cure, the final, the, the long awaited, because we were all waiting for this, um, trilogy or threequel, sequel, sequel to the trilogy, the end of the trilogy. I hope maybe who knows. Anyway, I'll get more detail of that movie tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.